it appears uh, from the timeline there was about one and a half months elapsed between discovery of the uh, first discrepancy and the conclusion it was a systematic error. So is it the case that uh, the vendor did not conclude there was a need to check for whether there was a systematic error upon being notified of the very first uh, discrepancy? That's the first question. Uh, the second question is, um, is it possible for the ministry to clarify today uh, the extent of recoverability of costs from the vendor? In terms of the timeline, the, the, the uh, timetable I gave you earlier takes into account the amount of time it took for the Charles team to pick up the error, flag it to NCS, and within about three weeks or so, the error was fixed. What the vendor did not realise at that point in time was the fixing of that error meant that all cases moving forward would be correct. But it did not account for the fact that those that had been processed up to the point in time still had mismatched subsidy information. That error itself was then fixed a few weeks later. So from that time onwards, no other errors would occur. Between that time and when this was then announced, steps were taken to identify the scope of the persons who were involved, what amounts each of them were affected by, whether up or down, and the extent to which remediation would take place. And once that was determined, this was announced back in February, earlier this month. As far as the extent of the recovery is concerned, uh, as I mentioned, that two million would cover an estimate of what it would cost to remediate this problem. Of course, as Mr. Uh, uh, Professor Thissera appreciates, if we keep the subsidy levels and you honour the subsidy levels despite it being erroneous, there will continue to be a degree to which further subsidies that were higher than what is supposed to be might be granted. And so we are looking at all of this with the vendor and working out at a sum that would approximate all of this and come to an arrangement with the vendor.